Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Saturday, um, sometime in the, at the end of March 2021. Don't remember the exact date. Uh, I was a little flustered because I um, created and recorded an earlier version of this video, uh, only to find out uh, 20, 25 minutes later that um, the audio wasn't um, recording properly or wasn't uh, the microphone wasn't set up which I thought was automatically the default camera setting on uh, this Windows. So I, um, this is kind of like take two unofficially. At any rate, um, this is, I created this uh, YouTube channel several years ago. Um, uh, the concept of behind the screen was to have a, um, a channel that was uh, about my uh, Dungeons and Dragons hobby, and there's a. I realized there's a lot of content, or probably a lot of um, channels already on the internet about uh, Dungeons and Dragons, um, specific the different editions, and that's fine. But I I wanted to really hone in and focus on um, this channel um, on my experiences um, DMing or being a dungeon master. Uh, to borrow bar a controversial term, kind of like a noobish noob, noob dungeon master, because um, I really have participated in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's been my favorite um, tabletop RPG since the early 80s. Um, and um, when I started, I started back in first edition, but as I was telling one of my friends, um, I really didn't get the memo um, when uh, out of necessity, I because I was playing with my brother and some of my schoolmates and we were brand new to the game. I didn't really realize that um, the role for me as a um, dungeon master um, was not only to create the narrative in the campaign for the other players, um, you know, and not only to um, either uh, con construct um, this um, fantasy setting uh, that they that we were all taking part in collaborative because really that's what Dungeons and Dragons is you know um, everybody knows now that's familiar with the role-playing um, format or hobby that uh, it's a shared experience you know you play uh, a, a game a campaign for however long it takes weeks months whatever what have you and uh, but the players participate, and the role of the dungeon master or referee is to, you know, ar be an arbiter of the rules, of course, but also to foster that environment where people are having fun, are able to participate in a in 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 a shared experience. You know, you know what the idea is about, and what I'm trying to say. But when I was new and younger, um, I had no idea that I was, but part of the, that responsibility or part of that function of the DM was to give, have some challenges, throw some challenges to the players so that they can experience the story. But at the same time, you know, they have problems to solve, traps, monsters, uh, you know, powerful beings to, um, to, as antagonists. So I kind of pretty much gave them everything that they wanted. You know, if they wanted treasure, they got treasure. You know, they got the best gear and the best items and, you know, the best weapons. And they, uh, um, in turn, were very happy and became kind of super beings. Um, but I think ultimately they, it suffered because I got pulled bored of playing. Um, it wasn't fun because, you know, they could do everything. And so there was really no challenge there. And so I, I, I didn't have the correct concept, you know, you know, 14, 15 years old <laughs> now. You know, I kind of um, are more clear on that. And um, currently, uh, following uh, our post-COVID-19 reality, um, it's been, of course, hard for people to get, even harder to get into groups. They have uh, applications now like Roll, uh, D20 or Roll20, whatever it's called. It's basically like a digital tabletop um, application that you can use to run your campaigns. And they also have, um, and Zoom, you know, like a friend of mine from college, I was poking around the internet on Facebook and I, we kind of uh, uh, reintroduced ourselves. And I noticed that the banner on top of her uh, Facebook page was a tabletop, um, basically like a D&D &D game session. And I knew she played because, you know, from previous experience, um, we talked about World of Warcraft and 
a lot of the things that 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 everybody shared and enjoyed. And um, and she's kind of like a theater major, I think, or has to do the des designing sets in uh, for plays and stuff. So that's her forte. That's what that's what she was going for uh, her pro uh, school program. But at any rate, I knew that she would be a very um, good person to have as a DM. So I said, you know, you want to get together. I've been trying to get a group for a long time and it hasn't really happened. And she said, sure. And so we've been doing this kind of impromptu every other week um, sessions on uh, on Zoom. And that's a really um, different platform, you know. Um, but it essentially boils down to the same thing, having the collective shared experience of the game. And it's been really interesting. Um, I will say that there was a bit of a learning curve um, for me because I was not familiar with, um, I started playing, as I mentioned, I was a D&D player back in the day and we were using Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. This was our rule set, the first edition old school um, uh, D&D game. Um, that's what I was familiar with, and it had been years, so I don't, I couldn't even tell you how that system works now. It's pretty primitive in comparison to what what we have now. And then I moved on to um, to to uh, life got in the way, like it usually does. When I started the, the channel, my idea again was to have a focused forum where I could talk about, discuss the hobby, but also talk about my progress as a player and as a DM, because I was definitely interested in DMing some sessions, you know, which I had never done in three, five. So to that end, around 2014, when, um, oh, by the way, behind the screen, as you can see, I'm behind my uh, <laughs> DND fifth edition uh, uh, Dungeon Master screen, which I, I actually picked this up for like a dollar at a ho hobby store in Houston because it was, you know, like a year later after it came out. So I was really happy. And it has, you see the front and in the back, it has uh, like different, um, like MPC uh, data, uh, M you know, name generators, uh, status, that kind of thing. You know, like when a character gets uh, charmed or uh, poisoned, that type of thing. And has a, a, a bunch of uh, 5e stuff, but I never used it because A, I was playing in a 5th edition campaign but uh, fairly regularly um, but I didn't get a chance to um, to DM. I was mostly a player uh, first of all, and second of all, I was um, I was playing 4th edition. <laughs> I know uh, around 2008 or 9 when I was playing fairly regularly with a group in, uh, in, uh, in Spring, Texas um, uh, of all the things we were playing, fourth edition, and I know fourth edition gets a lot of uh, pushback. And pe a lot of people don't like it because they don't think it's really good. Uh, my, the uh, my my theory on that is any edition that I played, as long as the dungeon master and the, uh, the DM knows what they're doing, they put in some work um, and are good. I'm running the campaign. It doesn't really matter what system you use. You know, you could be playing any edition of the game. I was playing fourth edition. It was the most maligned edition uh, at the time. Uh, people know if you follow Dungeons and Dragons when Wizards of the Coast took over um, around the time that 3.5 came out, which was 2000-ish, 2003, I think. Um, it was the RPG was kind of in a down state. They weren't selling that well. The brand was trying to reinvent itself. And they were trying to compete with uh, video gaming MMORPGs, which, by the way, is a topic that I'm also very interested in um, as it pertains to role-playing games. Um, but anyway, uh, people were playing WoW, and people were um, um, moved on from, uh, from uh, 3.5, as I understand it, to... Um, uh, Pathfinder because it was uh, people call it 3.57 since it's kind of like because of the open li game license um, they were able to create their own um, brand that had some improvements over the 3.5 system um, I never I wasn't really playing around that time I did 4th edition and like I said I had, I had a blast playing 4th edition I didn't really care that it was video game-ish or whatever the knock was I just had a good game master and we had a good group and we had tons of fun playing that playing that game it is a little bit more um battle and uh 
tactical than the what I remembered for the previous editions, but I really didn't care because again, our game master sort of tailored some um, uh, source material from second edition, which I never really got a chance to play. And, um, you know, um, the settings like Dragonlance and that type of thing. And he really creatively created a very good adventure, a very good series of game sessions. And I loved that. We loved that. It. it was it was fun. Um, so that was fourth edition. Um, now, currently, as I mentioned before, I am participating in a Zoom 3.5 game because of COVID. Um, and uh, I had to completely, um, it was a bit of a learning curve. Uh, currently playing a barbarian because my play style, uh, whether it's be like a digital or pen and paper RPG, I always enjoyed more of the what you call like a like warrior. I guess to borrow the MMO term, like a, like a tank ish character. So the barbarians, you know, really tough. You know, um, very flavorful. Um, and, but it was it, it, I had to completely learn a new system. So. Um, that's what we're doing now. So I picked up, <laughs> picked up this 3.5 and whoa, this is way different, you know, than what I was used to because, um, you know, it's still Dungeons and Dragons to its core, but you have, you have the skill systems and I like it. I think some people don't like it because they think it, they say it's kind of crunchy, meaning that there's a lot of numbers that you have to deal with. The character sheet, it's insane with like um, all this, the modifiers and all that. But once you really delve into it, I really like the system, some of the game mechanics. And uh, and to be fair, I was a little bit familiar with it because I do play um, uh, DDO, Dungeons and Dragons Online, which was a game that came out around 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Started playing ever since it came out. And I really like that game. Um, because it's different than other MMOs. It's really close to, uh, based on the 3.5 rule set, and really close to the, um, more akin to Dungeons and Dragons with the instances and the dungeon crawls um, and the multi-classing of characters. Um, so it's very different from other MMOs like World of Warcraft um, or, or, yeah, those type of games. So that was um, DDO. And so, Dungeons and Dragons Online actually is not only based on D and D three point five, but as many of you probably already know, if you have played it or are familiar with it at all, it is set in the uh, Eberron campaign. The Eberron campaign, and I really like Eberron. In fact, I picked up an Eberron player's guide just because I really like that world. I like the mixture of the magic and the steampunk type aesthetic with the game mechanics of 3.5 and the fantasy role playing, because I'm all, uh, I don't play FPS or any other type of game. I'm, I like the challenges with the MMOs, the world building, um, um, even the uh, the theme park type of games that will take you from one zone to another zone, like Warcraft, that's what I like. And uh, and um, DDO is pretty much that, and it, it, it incorporates the Dungeons and Dragons lore into an Eberron campaign. So. I hope that maybe in the near future, I am, I get the opportunity, maybe after all this COVID thing um, goes away and we're back playing in, in a regular uh, table, around the table with players face to face, that we can, that I get the opportunity not only to DM a, ga a game session, but I think I want to do both the first edition um, and also definitely an, an Eberron's Eberron type uh, setting campaign that would be fantastic, and I definitely want to uh, hopefully get a chance to do that in the in the future. Um, I also blog. I like MMOs, so I blog about MMO RPGs, mostly the old ones like EverQuest and um, and Dark Age of Camelot. So um, you know, a little plug if you're into that too. I'll leave a, a description um, on a link a, a link on the description of this video so that you can check out the blog if that's something that you want to do. Um, but primarily, as I said, in summary, uh, moving forward, I want to create some uh, uh, videos and content about Dungeons and Dragons, specifically um, about, um, from the perspective of a newbish, new uh, dungeon master uh, type person, um, you know, and my progression, um, uh, 
if I get the opportunity to run a campaign, what I can do, what I do well, what what people enjoy, you know, maybe I'll get some feedback. If you're interested in in uh, in watching this this content and these videos in the future, give me some uh, input and feedback on what um, what works for you um, or uh, you know what dungeon masters should do. You know, hence behind the screen. Um, and yeah, so that's that's pretty much the premise. Um, in terms of scheduling, um, I pretty much think uh, I dedicate D and D to Saturdays. I have this whole D and D Saturday thing happening right now because that's when I have time to do it. And maybe I'll create videos um, on Saturdays, post them on Saturdays moving forward, and you know other days when I get a chance, but definitely on the weekend, um, and uh, and and go forward from there. So I think that's enough of uh, an introduction to this channel. Thank you so much for um, stopping by and uh, listening to me rant if you've, if you've got this far. Um, so I'll give updates on, on my experiences with, uh, with not only the 3.5 Zoom, uh, which is a, we, uh, a new way of um, conducting our, our campaign sessions nowadays. Oh, um, also, I guess the last time I made a video, and I might, put a link to that too was back in 2014, which is when I picked um I picked the the, the starter kit, which was a good product from Wizards of the Coast, because I was so excited and try you know, they were reinventing um D, &D with the fifth edition. And I also um I picked up this essentials kit, which a lot of you are probably I don't know if the 2019 I picked this up and this is a really great uh, box set for players of um, two to two to two to six players. Um, it has a rule book, um, and it also has like a built-in campaign that you can use uh, uh, a dungeon master screen like this one, only a, a little bit um, uh, less uh, glossy and uh, character sheets. Anyway, guys, anything you need to to start. Um, uh, continue a uh, fifth edition campaign you can find in that set, and I highly recommend picking that one up if you get an opportunity. I think it retails for about 24, 20, 25 bucks, depending on where you find it. It might be even cheaper now because it's been a couple of years since they put that one out. All right, so that's all I wanted to uh, to to do today, and um, I'm looking forward to making more content. As I said, I'll put links on the description of this video, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.